So when I talk about the digital marketing, there is one tool which is specific. The question comes, what kind of advertisement a business can do? Many business owners do a mistake that they do not understand what's the goal of their advertisement. on the internet and then ordering on the internet it's in a in a seamless process right now it happened in just one click so now what i'm trying to say you whenever a business is requiring or need, uh, or looking forward for more leads and more sales they will always be doing some kind of a marketing which is online marketing now online marketing happens in two ways one is a paid marketing and one is the organic marketing. So whatever is coming there in the advertisements, they are the paid marketing. Google is charging those companies whosoever is showing the advertisements on Google's platform. After the fourth advertisement, we have few results like, like Flipkart or Amazon or LG or other companies. These are there because of the search engine optimization. So one is search engine marketing. And the other is search engine optimization. So the website who is, which is optimized as per the search engine requirements are coming after the advertisements, not before the advertisements. So this is the way Google search engine page actually works. It's divided into many, many parts. So now you know that if you want to go there, what you have to do, you have to place the advertisement. So we have to go and uh, make the account with Google ads. Or if we are using Facebook, we have to make an account with Facebook ads, right? But before that, let's understand a few basic concepts. So when we talk about Google ads specifically, we need to understand what exactly can be done. These are the things which can be done with the help of Google ads. These are the business goals. These are the business requirements. So why we need to increase the website traffic or we need to get more and more people on our website so that whatever the offer we are running, people know about that. And out of so many people who are coming to my website, probably some of them will buy that offer or enroll into that offer. If I need to get more and more calls from my prospective customers, I can run Google ads. If I need to generate more and more leads, I can run Google ads. I can also run the advertisement to increase traffic to the offline business. Let's say I don't have any presence in the online space, just a basic website. And my business is, let's say I'm, I'm, I'm running a fashion studio wherein people come and I give them the stitching services for their clothes. This is my business. So how people will drive to my offline business, to my store, to my fashion studio, and I can run the campaigns for them. So this is also possible. I can do the advertisement to, to increase my online sales. I can do it for, for brand awareness and I can also do it for the mobile installations. Let's say a company called, uh, have you heard about the delivery company called Zomato or, 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 or Blink? There are many companies and they want that they, you should install their application in your mobile phone. So how they do it? They run the campaign on the internet so that you, you get to know about that. And the moment you click on that advertisement, you either reach the Play Store or the iOS store. Right, direct link. So there is nothing like there is no website. You have to go to the website first and then you have to install the application. No, it is just in a second you click on that and you get the installation done. So you have to understand what is your business goal as a business marketer. And then, basis on that, you can choose the category of advertisements you want to run. I've seen many times many business owners do a mistake that they do not understand what's the goal of their advertisement. They simply want more leads, they simply want more business. But business will come with a strategy, with a proper marketing tool is a tool which will help you to align that strategy. But you have to make the strategy in your mind and to make the strategy, what you can do, you can maybe uh, develop a great idea of marketing. If you are marketing genius, if you are marketing guru, or if not, you can hack the funnels of other people who are doing the marketing for their products. Let's say, for example, there are two companies. Uh, we all drive cars or scooters. There are two companies, let's say HP and, uh, and uh, other one is, other one is BP. Yeah. BP Bahad Petroleum. There are two different companies and they want to get, get more and more consumers. So they do kind of a campaigns on the TV, on radio, on internet. If one company is not getting the idea, the other company will be getting the idea and that company can copy the other advertisement by the, with their own kind of a variation, but it happens. I have seen that. 
So you have to check what you can do best in your business and basis on that you can utilize the tools. So when I talk about the digital marketing, there is one tool which is specific, which is Google Ads. Within the Google Ads, we have multiple things. Let me show you how. Okay, so on Google, I try to search water purifier. So this is the way I search. And I can see the search advertisement in the form of text, the shopping advertisement in the form of some graphics and pricing with the link of their website. Now, if I go to the site called Times of India, for example, you can go for any website. And when I'm browsing through the websites, uh, let's go for this page. I would be able to see certain advertisements. So you, you see this cup and this kind of a cup, I mean, the small, uh, what you can call it, a cup holder or whatever it is. They are the advertisements. And these companies are running the advertisements to tell me if I click here, I can buy the product. If you see a small eye is coming here, and it says ads by Google. So on different websites like timesofindia.com, and there are thousands of websites, you can place your advertisement like this, wherein people can see your product or service. So this advertisement is coming from Google on Times of India in a form of a graphic, in a form of a picture. So this kind of advertisement, if you do, these are called display advertisements because they are displaying certain information in the form of graphics. So graphic information, a display campaign we can run for this. All right. Apart from that, whenever you go to youtube.com and when you play a video, before playing the actual video, you might see an advertisement in the form of a video which you skip after five seconds or on a desktop when you play in between the video, there's a small image comes in and that tells you something about the product or the service which company is offering. So that is also an advertisement. So with the same Google ads, we can run different kinds of campaign. One is a search campaign, other the shopping campaign, then the display campaign, then the YouTube campaign, maybe in the form of video or graphics. There are a number of options we have in Google advertisements. So the question comes, what kind of advertisement a business can do? A search, a video, or a text, or a, or a graphic, or a, or a shopping? Well, it all depends the kind of a business you have. One business strategy will not suit the other business. We have to understand the, our, our audience, where exactly they are. And basis on that, we can, we can run the kind of a campaign I need.